Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. This is Kev's Let's Game channel, my second channel. Uh, my first channel is on Kev's, um, is Kev's Gaming channel. That's my first channel. I have four franchises on there, one of them being an NBA 2K22 uh, Cupcake Rebuild uh, with the Colorado Springs Knights. Uh, so we're, this channel is dedicated to just single player modes and 2K Road to the Show and Madden. So today we're going to be making our first character in the 2K universe. Of course, this game is a year old, but I'm okay with making content on it because I'm just getting a feel for it, see how you guys like it. I will have a 2K23 one, a uh, Madden one, and I will also be having a Road to the Show character as well. But let's go ahead and get into the action here. We are going to delete this because that was earlier. So we're going to edit the build. So as far as for this, uh, this is what I have chosen so far. Okay, so our player's name is Kevin Jamal. Uh, he's 6'7". Uh, these are his ratings here, as you can see on the left side of the screen. This is what his caps would be at. Um, so 6'7", uh, he's, he can get up to 8 finishing badges, 16 shooting, 3 playmaking, and 1 defense. Even though he's 6'7", I'm expecting him to uh, be really good defensively. Um, and hopefully we play with him well. Uh, he's going to be defined. He's going to be 6'7", 225 pounds. So his interior defense does get a boost, booting, boosting him up to 225. Wingspan will be at 85 inches uh, across. So very good there. And so, and we are going to choose him to be a slasher. I feel like slasher is a pretty good spot for a small forward. We could do post score, playmaker, uh, spot up shooter. But with, the, with how I play, I definitely like to be a slasher. I like to run picks and rolls and things like that. Um... But if we look through the attributes, spot up shooters get a marked improvement to hit from deep, especially in catch and shoot situations. So that may actually be good for us. Playmaker can freeze defenders often with augmented ball handling abilities. Not interested in that. Post scores become more dominant in the paint with stronger backgrounds and hits moves and shots. And then slasher. So we're actually going to go to spot up shooter for our build here. And we are going to have shades of Jimmy Butler, Latrell, Sprewell, and B.I., we're past first wing, so that's pretty good to start. But now I'm going to go ahead and mute myself, get started with this with this new career. Hope you guys are enjoying the content. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys after the cutscene here for starting our my career. Hey, yo, what up, MP? Hey, what up, Z? Hey, you get that auto pay set up for the electric and gas, bro? I did that before we moved in, bro. This is why you get paid the big bucks, Mr. Manager. Wait, there's money involved in this? We paying rent, ain't we? <laughs> Look, those influencer dollars ain't gonna last forever, bro. Hey, yo, how that video doing? I mean, say some comments. Let's see. Six foot trash talker exposed. Are you <laughs> doing straight trash, bro? Yeah, but they're not talking about how you hit that nasty step back in his eye. I mean, they're all asking when you're gonna sign your letter of intent. like. Why hasn't MP signed with a college yet? Told y'all he's trash. MP skate a real comp or something? Can't stay an influencer forever, son. Hey, yo, let him talk. Building tree. I like that. Plus, bro, we just got here three days ago. Like, let's settle in before I make this huge life decision, man. But leagues run on schedules, bro. I mean, it's nice that we're making enough money off your socials to pay rent, but the college season's not gonna wait for MP the influencer to make up his mind before they start playing. You're not bigger than the sport of basketball, bro. Yeah, thanks, Captain Obvious. Well, I'd rather be Captain Obvious than Captain Oblivious. All right, I got a, I got a confession. What? I know I want to go. Stop playing. No, for real, I know I want to go. Well, yeah. Why wouldn't you just say that when you walked in, bro? I just thought this would be funnier. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I'm gonna kill you, man. Bro, you can't kill me. I'm a golden goose. You can't do that. And plus, you love me too much. Yeah, I don't know why. So. So. Yeah, I really am gonna kill you. See that? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Drum roll, please. All right, here we are being able to choose the college for the first time. We've got Texas Tech, Michigan State, West Virginia, Oklahoma, Connecticut, 
Gonzaga, Villanova, Syracuse, and UCLA. We're down here with the Florida Gators. So I'm an FSU fan, so I'm definitely not going to be a Gator. But for a small forward just trying to make it, to put a college team on his back, to lead him to to lead them to the promised land, I'm going to go with Texas Tech. Texas Tech hasn't had the greatest um, start uh, in the college world as far as for prospects coming out of Texas Tech, but we're going to give it a shot and see how we do there. So Texas Tech is where we're going to be going to school. Wait, that's where you want to go? I mean, after all this, that's what you pick. What's wrong? God, I just I can't believe this, man. Believe what? That I got you. <laughs> hey, bro. What? What? Like you didn't deserve that? That's fair, man. That's fair. <laughs> nah, but for real, man. I mean, congratulations, MP. This is big. Hey, look, I appreciate that, Rick. Really. I mean, I personally have never gotten offer letters from ten different top programs, but I mean, <laughs> I mean, I bet it's a difficult decision. You got no idea, bro. All right, so look, I'm gonna send them their paperwork and get everything rolling. In the meantime, you go work on your game. All right? Yeah. I do not need you embarrassing us at the next level. Hey, look, you know what I do, bro. This is what I do, man. <laughs> yeah, man. I'll see you later, bro. Hey, I, right, Rick. I see you, bro. So it seems like this one doesn't have audio, but basically, um, we lead Texas Tech down the stretch, thanks to No Smart to to the Social Sensation himself, who looked fast, fantastic while leading his squad to a conference championship. Is this a, the start of something legendary for MP and company, or a blip on the radar? We'll find out more soon with the selection committee announcing their always highly anticipated tournament seedings. This is, this is it. Exactly. This is it, baby. Hey, everybody's back. It's back. Shh. Next up, as the eighth seed in the region, we have Texas Tech. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Boom. All right, everyone. Let's sit up. First of all, congratulations. Yeah. You guys did a great job getting here. That's right. But said all year, it's all about the tournament. Yeah, now, I know the eighth seed wasn't what you were hoping for going into the year, but I see a clear path forward. Yeah. We just won the conference tournament, and going into this thing, we are playing our best basketball of right, the man. year. Yep, yep. Now the real work begins. Yeah, all right, guys. Because our job is not done if we're not cutting down those nets at the end of this thing. Oh, boy, boy. All right? Yeah. Yeah. Now we got a big day of practice tomorrow, and I know you're excited, and you should be. You should be. But I need you getting some rest, okay? All right? Bring it in. Win on three. One, two, three. Win! win. All right, All right. Let's go, right. boys. Yeah, hey, boy. MP. Yeah, go what's up. Just want to see how you're feeling. We're gonna need a lot out of you if we're gonna see this thing all the way through. Oh, look, man, I'm excited. This is what I signed up for. You know that. I know you did. I know you did. And here we are. Now, as the eighth seed, we're going to be the underdog through a lot of this. Okay. Okay. So I need you 100% committed to the game plan because every game is going to be different. Hey, look, whatever you need, I'm not going out there to freelance. Come on. Good. We have practice tomorrow. I need you there early. Like I always... Set it. No, 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 no. Set a good example for the other guys. Yeah, okay? I got you. Like I always... No, 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 no. Remember the time you said... I slept through my alarm, coach. Oh, come on, coach. My phone no, 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 no. Cannot happen again. Cannot, okay? That's all I'm saying. Every little thing matters this time of year, MP. Every little detail. Okay? Hey, yeah. All right? Look, coach, I'm locked in. I'm ready. We go get this W, I. I got you. Good. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. All right, so the college tournament is about to begin. You have the option to attend the team practice before each game to prepare for your next opponent with an opportunity to get an additional attribute bonus in the day's area of focus. A strong showing in the postseason can also have significant effect on your draft stock. Time to step.
All right, here we are getting ready to play the round one game with the Texas Tech Red Raiders. Let's get started with the action as we get as we get into round number one of the College of March Madness here. And here we go. Here's MP on the court here to start the game. MP was the smart starting small forward. And here we go. We're up against the Syracuse Orange in our first in our first matchup here. MP will be guarding their best small forward here. So here we go. P shot by Fulton is in there. Wow, I wasn't expecting the bucket. Darn. Here we go. Come on. The three. They're gonna make it. They're gonna hit from three all day if we don't. All right, let's see what we got here. Just gotta make sure we defend as best we can. Down low to Miller, who gets it there. Syracuse jump on top, eight to nothing over us here. Not a good look. Let me see. Take the screen. Thank you. Give me that board. Let me get the two points in the board. Good shot by us. Got our first score. Got okay. Got to play better. Got to play better. So we're not controlling everybody. Calling for the screen there. Drop to the bucket. Getting that one to go. Getting four quick points for our for the defensive board. Got to make a good outlet pass here. Driving in here. And I'm going to get fouled by Fulton. That's his first personal second team foul of the quarter. Kevin Jamal going to the line here. Gonna miss his first. It's really unlike any other sporting event in my opinion. We're gonna nail his second. Five four. Let's go, Butler. Yeah, we're gonna get another bucket there. We're down by seven here with six minutes left here in the first half. Down low to Wolf. Got that easy. No defense back there. They're back up. Can't get that one to go get my own board. Put it back up and get it to go that time. Shooting 43% from in seven, seven points, four boards. Passing it over to Evans. Going to get the body up here. And oh, just played a much better game than we did. Can't get it to go. 44 to 13. We didn't even eclipse 20 points in the first half. This is horrible. We're already at half. I wish they would actually play 20 minute quarters uh, here, but unfortunately, we're down. We've got a C, C teammate. We're at 7 points, 4 boards. We got a plus minus of minus 17. Got it. Gosh, that was a horrible pass. And he's going to make that 90% of the time. Now get fouled for that one. Starks gets called for his second personal. First team foul of the quarter. Going back to the line here. He's going to miss my first free throw. And we're going to nail our second. We got eight points, five boards in the call. Minutes left here in the second half. Got that one to go. Ten points. It's not due to. I mean, I got ten points, five boards. I'm not making bad, bad decisions. Just the teammates just can't get it. Can't, can't, aren't sound. We're getting destroyed 57 to 19. This is crazy. It's not us. We got 12 points. I mean, we're scoring well. We just, just defensively, we just can. Down 60 to 21. Where are we at? 83-35. We didn't even get for 50 points this game. Golly, this is horrible. 
Yeah, we're gonna lose in round one. I mean, just just poor play overall. We're gonna get that. One. We're gonna get a call, a call on Nelson there on that drive, but it's just too little, too late. There's nothing more we can do at this point. Except for take what we can get, pad our stats. We've got 13 points in the first round game. 14 points, 5 boards. Not that we played bad. We shot 6-7% from the free throw line. So, not the best game. Here's Lane. 20 seconds left here in the game. And I could just try to swipe it, but not that it's going to matter. We're going to lose in the round one versus the Syracuse Orange. Fulton had a great game. Yeah, it's just been that type of game. So we lose 86 to 37 here in round one. We don't even make it past the round. Coach had such high hopes for us. But just offensively, defensively, we just couldn't get anything going. And we lose. So Syracuse gets the win, 86 37. And let's see if anything goes up. We have a C teammate grade. I mean, I thought we played well. 14. Points, no play making. We got some defensive stats upgraded. Um, yeah, so poor showing for us. 14 and 14 to 5. 14 and 5. Right now, it looks like we're slotted to be a late second round draft pick as of right now. So we will be doing the combine uh, to improve our stats here. And so these recordings are normally norm about will normally go about an hour. How go. you doing, bro? I mean, I know you kind of been going through it ever since you flamed out spectacularly in that tournament. You auditioning for Top Tech Daily? You need to come more provocative than that, homie. All right. Well, how about you are a disgrace to basketball. You care more about your YouTube career than you'll ever care about hooping, and you're ugly. First of all, I'm not ugly, and just because you call yourself pretty don't mean it's true, homie. You're right. My face makes it true. Oh, okay. Nah, for real. Come on. You got to just admit this. You're the athlete, and I am the brains, heart, soul, and face of this entire operation. I mean, the facts is just the facts. Bruh, stay modest. <laughs> For real, man, how you feeling? I mean, I know you don't really like to talk after you lose, so. No, obviously, I didn't, I didn't expect stuff to end like this, man. You know, I still got a, I got a lot of ball left in me. I just, I'm, I'm about to sit up here and cry about it, it's whatever. That's the only way to live life, bro. Yeah, facts. Hey, look, since we on the topic, you been thinking at all about next steps? I mean, you know I always got ideas, but I just, I want to know where your head's at right now. Now, I mean, now we get you some representation. All right, well, who you thinking? Well, I talked to a bunch of these guys, and everybody's kind of pushing us towards Palmer Athletic Agency. That's PAA, right? Yeah, man, I mean, they're the gold standard. Repped anyone who's anyone in the NBA. That's a uh, no-brainer, then. Like, why don't we just go with them? All right, well, just like any workplace relationship, it's all about who you feel most comfortable working with. So I got a meeting set up for him, and then you can meet him, make your decision then. Rick, I'm not trying to, like, what you know about the workplace, bro? Like, 2K shoes, this ain't no boardroom, all right? What you talking about? 2K <laughs> shoes was hard work, all right? Don't belittle my achievements, dog. Hey, look, chill out. You know I'm proud of your work. I've always been my son. <laughs> like, anyway, <laughs> I got an appointment set up for us, all right? Okay. All you got to do is show up and listen, really. But, I mean, you can ask a couple questions if you feel like participating. <laughs> You think you can handle that? Oh, look, we got this, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. Absolutely. Oh, yo, we also got to start thinking about the combine. What you thinking? Well, I mean, if you want to give your draft stock a little bump, yeah, I think it should go. But if you feel comfortable where you at, I think you could just as well skip it. It's really up to you. Yeah, 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 I'm going to think about it. Look, it ain't nothing else I need to know about that. Uh, no, nah, I think that's it. Well, I appreciate you, bro. Seriously, thank you, Rick. Anytime, MP. Hey, there he is. How, doing? What's <laughs> How up, you doing, Rick? bro? I'm good. It's great to finally meet you in person, MP. How I'm you Kristen. Doing? Kristen. Diane. Diane, nice to meet you all. No, the <laughs> pleasure's ours. Can we get you anything? Uh, coffee, LaCroix? I'm good. Uh, yeah, you know, I think we're ready to just jump in. Great. Good. So, like I said on the phone, right now we are currently in our home stretch, at least as far as finalizing agencies right. goes. The missing puzzle piece for me is really just what each team's vision is for MP. Like, I just want to make sure that what you see for him lines up with what we see for him. Hey, look, Di Kristen, I just want to know what y'all bringing that we don't have. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> right, exactly. Uh, well, those are both very reasonable concerns. 
when it comes to vision, the good news is this is a science, not mm. an art. The very idea of a superstar athlete was invented inside these walls. True. It's what we do. <laughs> it's a, in our DNA. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I'm, I, I do have a question, though. Of course. Well, MP and I, you know, we like to think of ourselves as people that do things kind of differently mm -hmm. or outside the norm. Yeah. Can either of you guys speak to that? Do you mind? Yeah, go ahead. Any idea how many female heads of sports agencies there are? Uh, no. Nah. One. And you're looking at her. <laughs> so if anybody understands doing things outside the norm, it's us. If anybody knows how to get what they want, regardless of how many people try to tell them no, that's us. When it comes to gender equality, the sports business is stuck in the Stone Age, and we rose to the top because we refused to let anybody else's idea of who or what we should be define us. And that is what we want for you. How many, how many female reps are there repping NBA players right now? I don't have an exact number, but they could all fit in this room. You guys get the point, okay? You live up to your potential on the court and there's not a single vision you have for yourself that we can't make a reality. Whew. Kristen will be here for you in the day to day. And I am always here if you need me. And all you have to do is ball. <laughs> That's not bad. How you feeling, big guy? I'm feeling good. You feeling good, Ricky? Man, I'm feeling great. Let's do it. Fantastic! Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Great. Welcome to the family. Hey, everybody. that feels good. Welcome to the family. <laughs> <laughs> we just have a couple things we need to iron out with your management, but we know you are a busy man, so you don't need to stick around for it. We'll let you know. Hey, look, that sounds great. Once again, it's nice to be yeah, a part of the team. Yeah. Kristen, We're Diane, bye right you. See you guys. See you I'll later, man. Don't mess nothing up. Man, I'm going to handle all of the business. Don't worry. <laughs> Let's get to work. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is going to be where we're going to stop the video for today. Um, we're definitely going to show clips of the NBA Combine, uh, shooting, just some of the drills and things like that. Um, and then we will get into the draft next episode. Um, so, yeah, but thank you guys so much for coming out to the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about our player, Kevin Jamal's chances of making it into the NBA. And what team do you think he's going to be drafted by? I look forward to viewing your comments, and I will see you guys next episode, in episode number two of the Kevin Jamal My Career here on NBA 2K22. Later.